The SU Field Hockey women's team has been having a great season, and right now they are top five in the country. Our Brandon Roth is live right now with members of the team as they get ready for a championship game against UConn this weekend. Good morning, Brandon. Good morning, Lisa. That is right. Uh, the undefeated Huskies also in league play come here to SU tomorrow, 1 o'clock, for a championship game against the SU women's field hockey team. Uh, it is going to be a big event. If you're looking for something to do with the kids, it's also going to be very kid-friendly. We have with us Ange Bradley, who's the coach of the SU women's field hockey team. And, Coach, tell us a little bit about, uh, uh, first of all, this is a big game. They yeah. don't get bigger than this tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we're really excited to be able to play for a Big East championship in front of our home crowd on coin field. Um, it's senior day. We have stick or treat uh, for the local kids in the community. They can come in and get their faces painted and come cheer on the orange. Yeah, let's take a look at the, the, the girls here, play, Craig, playing as we talk about this is a, you're trying to promote the sport with girls in the community here and you have a clinic coming up. Yeah, we, um, we like to be able to be role models for um, young girls in the community and on Sunday at 9 a.m. we'll be offering a um, clinic on coin from 9 to 10.30 in the morning. They'll get a chance to work with some of our players and meet the kids yeah. and um, we like to serve as role models. It's a great sport for girls and you have Kelsey uh, your captain. Kelsey come on down here Kelsey. Uh, you were saying how the girls kind of look up to the players here in the community. Yes, they do. Um, we got an email from a parent whose daughter um, was so excited that she was issued the jersey number six um, because she knew Kelsey Millman wore it and she was asking if Kelsey would be at the clinic this weekend and um, they're the types of things we're able to do for the girls in our community. So. That's great. Let's talk real quick. Kelsey, so uh, you, how do you feel being with uh, your message to young girls and when you see them coming out to the games? Um, I think it's really exciting. A lot of the other sports always get full packed out houses from like younger teams from the community. I think it's awesome to have um, younger girls in the field hockey area coming here for our games. Games. Um, we don't really get that a lot, so I think it's awesome to see that because it's exciting to bring on the sport chunker players. And they really have a lot of fun, the, the girls, when they come. Do you, can you relate when you were a, a, a little kid looking up to some of the players? Um, when I was younger, I always looked up to the older players, especially when my sister was playing. Um, I used to come to these games when I was younger, when I was like looking in high school, and I thought it was awesome to see like the older girls and see how much more talented they were in college than I was in high school. <laughs> okay, now, coming up at 6.30, do you think you could show me a few... I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a field hockey player, but you think you can show me? I know, I know little girls can play, but I don't know. How about old reporters that are washed up? Uh, sure. <laughs> you didn't sound too convinced there. All right, well, that's what we're going to do coming up at 630. But again, don't forget, big game here, free. Uh, SU taking on UConn, two undefeated in-league play for the league championship. Come on, cheer on the SU women's field hockey team. And then if you have some kids Sunday, bring them to the clinic. What's that, Coach? One, one, uh, 9 a.m. 9, 9 o'clock, also up here. Uh, and a lot of field hockey this week weekend, Lisa. All right, well, Brandon, thanks so much. We're looking forward. You yeah. are not old and washed up. We are looking forward. I, I, know I am, but thank good, you for so saying that. They're going to show you some tips. They're, they're yeah, they're going to show me some moves at 6.30. Yeah. All right, Brandon, <laughs> thanks so much.